So you wanna get more sales on eBay? Well, you've come to the right place. In today's video, we're gonna break down the five golden rules for consistent eBay sales. And I mean consistent, everyday sales. I've been a full-time reseller on eBay for the past two years, and we're gonna be using my own eBay store sales data to show just how effective these rules can be. But here's the real secret. These rules are gonna to have to be carried out every single day for them to work. Make sure you stick around until the end of the video because I've got a bonus rule that I've only just implemented and yet it's had a massive effect on my eBay sales for the month. And chances are, you're not doing it yet. It's a big episode, let's do it. This could well be the most important rule in the playbook. Think about it like this. eBay's main source of revenue for them as a business is to collect a percentage of your sale in the form of a selling fee. It's usually between 12 to 15%. So to keep people selling on their platform to have them continue to make money, eBay's algorithm is built to reward those who stay active. If you're consistently providing new listings for eBay to advertise, eBay's gonna recognize this and continue to send out impressions to customers, in effect, keeping the doors to your store open, allowing new traffic to come in and see your items every single day because they don't wanna lose you as a source of revenue. The minute eBay's algorithm picks up on the fact that you've become inactive, they will too become inactive, shutting the doors to your shop, providing less traffic via impressions, which ultimately results in less sales. With this knowledge, I've found that 10 new listings was a manageable number for me to stay consistent every single day. I've done this every single day for the past year and it's helped me generate an average of seven and a half sales, totaling $300 in revenue every single day. As we've just discussed, listing impressions refer to the volume of traffic seeing your items for sale. One way to increase this volume of traffic is to promote your listings. In effect, giving it a boost to the amount of traffic your listings will see each day. The higher the promoted percentage, the more traffic you'll get. Personally, for the past 12 months, I've set my promoted listing percentage to 2%, which is the minimum eBay allows you to select. Ultimately, what this number refers to is the additional selling fee you'll have to pay if the item sells via a promoted listing purchase. Working off the average eBay fee percent of 12, if you were to promote at 3%, you would then pay a total of 15% in selling fees. Now, I know a lot of sellers don't like the idea of paying more in fees, but you're ultimately self-sabotaging your own success as 54% of my sales in the past 12 months have come by at just a 2% promoted listing sale. I guess we'll never know how many of those sales would have come through organically, but I can assure you it wouldn't have been as many if all these listings weren't promoted. If you walked into a grocery store and had the ability to offer a lower price for an item you wanted to buy, do you think you'd end up buying more items? I think you would. I know I would. Well, eBay allows buyers and sellers to negotiate a price. Everyone loves to feel like they've got a bargain, and as long as you've got enough margin to make a decent enough profit, I think every listing should have the best offer feature enabled. Personally, I only send and accept offers within 5-10% to of my asking price and will sometimes list the item for 5% more than I'm after just to allow for this negotiation to take place. Over the past 12 months, a whopping 52% of my sales have come by accepting or sending best offers. I can guarantee this wouldn't be 7.5 sales every single day if I wasn't doing that feature. Pro tip number one would be to try and catch the customer while they're hot and shoot off the best offer as soon as you see it come through. A pro tip number two would be to use the message feature to show the further benefits, like I can ship the item for you today. eBay's algorithm monitors the good and the bad. It's my belief that delayed or overdue postage hinders the ability to generate impressions and consistent sales. eBay wants a smooth buying experience for their customers and a large part of that is receiving the item in a timely manner. You can generate consistent sales if you can develop a fast shipping and handling time. I've personally done this on a one day shipping and handling time for the past 12 months with minimal overdue items. I try to do the post first thing in the morning for the day prior and make, uh, make it a part of my daily routine, delivering it to the post office on the same day. I think this process has had a huge effect on picking up more sales than when I previously had a three day shipping and handling time. Packaging your item for safe arrival will help result in no negative feedback, which is golden rule number five. My eBay feedback percentage currently stands at 99.3%. That means I've copped seven negative reviews over the last 12 months. A lot of those I could have easily disputed with eBay and had removed, but at the time I knew that as long as I didn't fall under 98%, I was still gonna be a top rated seller, so I wasn't too worried. 
That was until I started paying closer attention to my sales in the days following a negative review. And in short, well, they dropped, along with the traffic being directed into my store. eBay obviously penalizes you in the form of traffic for a few days if you do get a negative review, so try to not do so. In my experience, you'll still be affected for a couple of days after a negative review, even if it gets removed by eBay. This can be really frustrating, especially when an inexperienced buyer will often give negative reviews with no genuine reason. So do your best to keep a clean sheet and you'll keep your sales consistent. If you're getting any value out of this video, remember I post two new videos every single week on this channel. So if you're yet to hit that subscribe button, now would be a great time to do so. Okay, now I did want to have a chat about the bonus uh, rule that we've got in place. I've only used it for the last three weeks, but it's had some really good effect on my sales. So much so that this month, the month of August, we're about to wrap it up being the 30th today. Um, I've just been able to tick over $11,000 in revenue, which in two years of selling, I've never been able to do. But it's been slowly built up to anywhere between sort of eight to $10,000 every single month, really consistent, certainly for the last 12 months at least anyway, because of the golden rules that I've just told you about in this video. I practice and preach those rules every day and that is why I'm doing eight to $10,000 worth of revenue. But it's it's the bump to 11,000 that has come, I believe, due to this sixth bonus rule and that is the activation of coupon codes, which I'm really surprised by. I actually didn't think that the coupon codes would have such an effect or at least be activated as much as they are. And I had a look at my numbers for the promotion of the coupon code, which for me is a 10% discount at checkout. So if you buy any single one of my items on checkout, it's gonna be a 10% off um, if you just simply put in the, uh, the code that I've got there for you. Um, and if you're a part of the 30% club, uh, this YouTube channel membership that I've got set up as well, um, there is a coupon code for you guys that, that do join that um, membership and you get 20% discount. So I've got a couple in there uh, for you guys, but ultimately $3,000 has come through uh, through the use of coupons, which might have just been able to bump me from eight to 10,000 to 11,000. I've just got to that new bracket. Um, so to be able to bring in that much money, using those six golden rules is, is really quite exciting. And um, I did just want, really want to quickly show you as well what items are actually selling. For me, it has been media. Just this month alone, 50% of my sales have come from DVDs. DVDs and video games, and then shoes, and then believe it or not, hats are a really other big popular one for me. I'm getting a lot of sales in the hat game. So if you're looking for items out there to try and sell onto eBay, I would highly recommend you look at shoes, and I mean shoes as in running shoes, uh, football boots, that's really the only space that I play in when it comes to the shoes. Uh, DVDs, I really focus around box sets and movies, um, but more so TV show box sets. Uh, if you've watched any of my other previous videos, you would know that. Um, and then the hats. I'm always after the snapback hats, um, any of the trendy sort of, you know, sporting related sort of hats or, or surf hats, um, they do really well as well. So I go, here's a bit of a thrift trip actually. You can go and check that video out, which is me going out and sourcing those items I just spoke about. And I can show you the sort of price points that I buy them for to hopefully go on to make that profit uh, that you're seeing with these numbers in this video. Appreciate you being here. We'll see you soon.